Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Road Shows Me. My name's Dan and today, something I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. You might wonder, are we in Africa or Australia? No, no, this is actually Australia. Let me show you where we are. We've driven right across the top. I haven't updated the map, but we've been all the way up there in Darwin and around. We've come across, we're in Western Australia now, and we're in a region called the Kimberley. And this has a road, a gravel road, that cuts across about here. It's called the Gibb River Road. This is one of Australia's most famous, most iconic gravel roads. Lots of wilderness to come. There's gorges, there's crocodiles, there's springs, there's swimming, and there's boab trees. I love these things. I feel like I'm back in Africa. I'm excited. Jump aboard. Let's go. The Gibb River Road. So here we are swimming in Emma Gorge. Look at this place, it is absolutely breathtaking. And what is in the water with me a few meters away? That is a freshwater crocodile right there in the water. I never thought I'd swim with crocodiles, but I guess I'm swimming with crocodiles now. And up above Emma Spring, this is a thermal spring coming out of the ground. So that's actually warm water cascading down. I just have to find somewhere to soak in it, and this is going to be my view back out. <laughs> Does it get any better than this? <laughs> so as a hot springs fanatic, i got to say, this is paradise right now. Not the hottest spring I've ever been in, but I'll spin it around and have a look at the view that I get while I'm sitting in the hot spring, straight out into the gorge. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> good morning, everyone. This is soaking in Zebedi Springs. So this is a genuine warm spring, about 32 degrees Celsius. Water's coming out of the rock right behind me. We're in a canyon. Absolutely beautiful. So this place is incredible. There's a ton of different pools in here and there's palm trees, there's the big canyon wall above me. It is beautiful in here. And of course, soaking in crystal clear hot spring water. What a way to start the day. It doesn't get any better than this. So we're in El Cuestro Gorge right now. This is called the middle pool that we're having to wade across. And then we have to climb up and out of it to be able to keep going up the gorge to get to the waterfall that's at the end. And you can see this place is incredible. Stunningly clear water, stunningly beautiful. Now I'm gonna try and climb up these rocks, see how this goes. Nice work.
So I had a lot of trouble on the climb up, so I'm gonna take the quick way down. It has been a massive day and it's not over yet. Check it out. We've just come up here to this lookout for sunset and this is the view we get over the Pentecost River, which is a river we're gonna cross again here on the Gibb River Road. And right now we're still in El Cuestro Station. So this is like a private station with all these canyons and hot springs and beautiful lookouts and all that kind of stuff. Just utterly incredible how massive it is, how stunning it is, but also Katie and I keep saying, kind of messed up that it can be private property like this you know clearly these are aboriginal sites of importance clearly this is like amazing nature that should be accessible to all but it's just private property and people charge for access i don't know i think it should be a national park but i mean the history of australia is a weird thing you know these people will probably say oh we've been here since 1960 so we have been here a long time because in australia 1960 is a long time ago Anyway, it's stunning. We're gonna cook dinner, we're gonna hang out. I'll throw the GoPro down and I'll get a time-lapse of sunset. I expect things are about to get exceptionally beautiful. We'll see you guys tomorrow for new adventures. So here we are, pancakes for breakfast and Jill the donkey has come to say hello. Hi Jill. We're told that Jill sometimes bites and isn't very friendly so I'm probably not going to try and pet her. She's obviously excited we've got uh, apples over here to go with our pancakes. She's pretty friendly but I think to a point I watched her try to headbutt someone yesterday. So <laughs> Katie just retreated into the jeep because she's afraid of Jill. <laughs> I can't help but laughing. Time to head off, I think, Jill. There's nothing here for you. We don't have anything good for you. We're eating all the good stuff, not you. See ya. Oh, she just wants her head scratch. Look. <laughs> She's moving the whole sheep. <laughs> uh. So check it out guys, we've taken a turn off the Gib and we've headed straight north up towards the coast and we're heading towards uh, these massive waterfalls that are out there, kind of this iconic thing to get to. It's been a really long day on extremely bumpy corrugated roads and now we're on the King Edward River and this waterfall called Manuru, uh, Aboriginal name obviously, and check this out. This is kind of equal parts beautiful and equal parts a bit freaky. Are there crocodiles in here is the question. And you can see locals are obviously swimming here and they just said there's no crocs. So I guess that means we jump in and there's no crocs. Time to go for another swim, which will be nice to wash off the dust. And then we go a little bit further to get up to Mitchell Falls. We're gonna camp up there tonight and see what that's all about. But for now, time to jump in and go for a swim. Good morning everyone. It is supposedly bright and early in the morning. 
We had a really big day yesterday. We drove all the way up here to Mitchell Falls Campground. And uh, this place is incredible. It started to feel like we were definitely driving to really remote, really the end of Australia, which is true. We're pretty much the very northern tip of Australia. And so Mitchell Falls now, we have to hike in. I think it's about four kilometers. And the deal is we want to do it as early as possible because on the way back, it's going to be scorching hot. Sunburn will be a problem, all of that. So come with us. This was our campsite last night, beautiful spot. Come with us as we go and check out Mitchell Falls. This is one of the most amazing waterfalls in Northern Australia. This spot is called Little Martins Falls. Obviously, I'm standing on top of a waterfall, if you can't tell. <laughs> it took Katie a while to learn that when Australians say lake or waterfall, usually they mean there's no water. That's a bit odd. But there's obviously a swimming pool down the bottom and we can swim here, there are no crocs. Maybe just some freshies. So we're still following the Little Martins River and there's supposed to be a waterfall here, but again, not much water. But what there is here, and this is really amazing, is there's another Aboriginal rock art site. So there's Aboriginal rock paintings all up in that cave there above me. And we were reading an info panel earlier some of these are up to 30,000 years old. So the Australian Aboriginal culture, it is the world's oldest surviving culture anywhere on the entire planet. It's pretty incredible. The, the history and the passed down knowledge goes back further than any other culture in, on the planet. So amazing when you think about it, that people lived here 30,000 years ago. Really mind blowing. Here we are guys, this is Mitchell Falls and I'm gonna say it was worth all those hours on very, very bumpy roads. Have a look, it's like triple tier. There's a little one way in the distance, the medium one, and then this close one to me. And the water down below is the most incredible green color down here. And um, the story is they ask you not to swim in the waterfall, partly because it is like a sacred Aboriginal site but also because there are probably saltwater crocodiles down here, especially in the lower pool, because my understanding is from here, the ocean is pretty much flat, which means they'll swim up. Um, they're not gonna be the up, up, up at the very top because crocodiles can't climb up rocks like that. And so we're gonna swim like 100 or 200 meters further back, well above all the waterfalls. But yeah, this place is incredible. They do helicopter tours here, obviously in the rainy season, or you know, if we had just been three or four months earlier, the water here must be incredible, just torrenting through this canyon. And you can see the walls, everything around here is just incredibly beautiful. The rock is amazing. So we're gonna hang out for an hour or so, go for a swim back where it's safe, try and hang out, but the heat of the day is building and so we need to get out of here before we roast on the hike back. So Mitchell Falls, definitely worth the side trip off the gib. I've never been to Northern Australia before, but this just screams Crocodile Dundee to me. I've been singing the theme song in my head all day long. <laughs> this looks exactly where like Linda, uh, what's her name? Not Linda Hamilton, where she kneels down to fill up her water bottle and the crocodile comes up and then Mick Dundee has to come over and stab it in the head. Remember that really famous scene? Tell me it wasn't filmed right here where I'm standing. Tell me this place isn't full of crocodiles but it isn't, I'm gonna go for a swim. Good morning, everyone. Here we are, we're headed out to Manning Gorge and to start, we have to cross this we were swimming here all yesterday afternoon. There's a couple of freshwater crocodiles hanging around. And you can see to cross it, we've got this little bucket here with our stuff in it. So our shoes and our backpacks and our clothes. And we have to walk slash swim across. I think it's about to get deep enough where I have to swim. 
just gonna be challenging. <laughs> Keeping my arm above the water is hard. But yeah, this is our morning to start out to get to Manning Gorge, which we're told is one of the highlights here on the Gib. Let's go for it. This is our view this morning, absolutely breathtaking. Here we go, Manning Gorge. We're gonna go check that out. This looks amazing, what a way to start the day. Good morning, here we are at another gorge. This one is called Bell Gorge and we've caught up with a few friends that we've been bumping into all over Australia. So we're all gonna go and try and climb this waterfall and see what trouble we can get into. But I tell you what, it's nice to be in the cool, clear, refreshing water. This road's getting bumpy and dusty and hot. So swimming is certainly a highlight on the gear. Couldn't help ourselves, we just keep going further and further down Bell Gorge. We really want to know what's down here. We just come like, I don't know, a few hundred meters. And I can hear what sounds like a pretty good waterfall right in front of us. Dealing with these slippery rocks has been really hard to get out of the water. But I reckon that we're right at the top of a pretty good waterfall right here. Let's have a look. <laughs> Only thing right now, if we go down in there, I don't know if we can get back out again. Good morning everyone, here we are, final day on the Gib, final attraction, this is called Tunnel Creek. We are about to walk into a tunnel under these rocks that is full of water and full of freshwater crocodiles. So in true Australian style, we have a warning sign here, I love the pictures that Australia has. So we have freshwater crocodiles in here, we have dude slippery sliding, we have person drowning I think, and we have um, falling rock on head. I guess uh, you gotta watch out, there might be an earthquake while you're down here underground. I don't really know, Australia loves its warning signs. And so this is where we're headed. We've teamed up with our whole crew that we've met up with again. We've been having so much fun. We played cards late into the night last night. This is it, this is the conclusion of the gib. Come with us as we head into Tunnel Creek. So we did just see a croc in the water back there and there's bats flying around. And now we're like getting close to waist deep in the water. It's obviously a good idea. Oh yeah, yeah, in the hole. For some reason, Lockie and I have decided to come down this tiny little cave tunnel thing. 
<laughs> oh my this god. is pretty small. Oh my god, oh my god it says lucky. This is, you can go right. Yeah, do it. You reckon? How small is it getting? <laughs> oh, dude. It's just a cane toad. What's over there? It's just a cane toad. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> no swearing on the YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> Beat me out. I will. So there we go guys, that is the end of the Gibb River Road, one of Australia's most famous kind of long distance touring routes. And we've been on it for seven days, maybe eight days now. We've done 1,350 kilometers. So it is pretty long, pretty remote, and it's been incredible. Hot, dry, dusty of course, but really great canyons for swimming, some incredible waterfalls, freshwater crocodiles, all the things I was hoping to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as we've enjoyed showing it to you. As always, if you did enjoy the episode, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We still have so many adventures to come in Australia, especially here in Western Australia. This is something I've looked forward to for a very long time. So if you'd like to get more information about exactly the route we took, the places we camped, all my GPS track logs, as well as behind the scenes access, early access, video calls with me, all of that is available over on my Patreon right now. So supporters over there are getting that stuff every week. I post, I tell them all about what's going on behind the scenes, real time updates. Sometimes these videos are delayed a little bit, a week or two from when I have the adventure to when I get to edit them up and get them out to the public. So all of that is available over on Patreon right now. There's a link down in the description of this video. Check it out over there if you're interested. But until next week, have fun out there and maybe we'll bump into you on the road.